<clears throat> Hello. Welcome to another episode of um, Busted Taste. Today, uh, today our episode is on Ben Shaw's Dandelion and uh, Bardock Soda. Advertised as totally timeless. It says it's been this concoction, which they referred to as Daft, has been created in England since the Middle Ages, which means apparently it's good. Um, now, um, I'm, I must confess that um, this review will not be truly faithful. It will not be a uh, blind reaction. Whereas, Fortunately, I did crack it open uh, before recording this review. As you can see, it is already open. I've already tasted it and smelled it and appreciated the rather unique can. Um, but I suppose I can uh, elucidate my first opinions. I can give give you what I was was thinking at the time. It won't be as raw, unfortunately. Uh you won't get the you know, I, I can't give you the same experience, the raw emotion that goes into this review. <laughs> and I'm really sorry about that, but I will do my best to uh bring the authenticity that you all have come to expect over the years. Um now, the first thing that I did notice, which I have already mentioned, is the can itself. I'm not sure if you can see, but the tab itself um, is a unique shape. This is a soda imported from um, England and the United Kingdom. Um, particularly, I believe, this soda is from a shop that specializes in Northern Ireland, um, you know, cuisine. Inshallah, the, um, the island will be united in a 32-county socialist republic. That is a topic for another time when I review Hank's uh, orange cream soda. Um, move, moving on with the can, um, I'm deeply ashamed that I could not show you this uh, like live there was an incredibly crisp open to this can the fizz the gas release was great the craftsmanship of the can was immaculate it was just it was there was no oftentimes when you open up a can you kind of it, it kind of has a little bit of a little bit of you know, uh, pull to it. You know, it's got a little bit of a, a, a take on, or take up, I believe is the word, before it actually breaks the seal. This one, however, was just a crisp clack. Um, it fine craft, craftsmanship that you wouldn't see with a, uh, a larger, uh, company such as Coca-Cola or Pepsi. Um, these independent, soft drink companies really uh, are keeping the wheels going so Ben Shaw's I must applaud you for this like excellent craftsmanship right off the bat for the for the can alone um, uh, perhaps I will look for their you know, other releases um, in the future if I ever see them um, maybe this flavor again but I will get into my actual review of the soda itself um but first uh the second thing that i experienced when i ex when i had this soda for the first time was the smell i took in the smell and i w i spent a long time thinking about what the smell was because it smelled very familiar i'm gonna go in for another smell so you can get my reaction. To me, that comes across as a medicinal grape flavor, 
which doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing, sort of reminds me of, like, grape soda. Um, specifically, something like a Hanks, or, you know, not, not necessarily a Fanta, or, or something like that. A, a perhaps less mainstream, but not, like, completely off the beaten path, rather, you could say. Uh, it, it's a familiar... Uh, kind of almost nostalgic. Um, a uh, fellow co-reviewer of mine, um, Busta Dogs, uh, or rather Bust Busta Deer. That's right, Busta Dogs is his partner. Um, Busta Deer said it reminded him of um, of of cherry cream, which I can understand. I, it's 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 a bit of a uh, more earthy fruit smell, I must say almost herbal, uh, but we will get to that. Uh, that's, that's it for the smell. That's all I will have for the smell at this moment. Um, let's just drink it and see what happens. It's unique, I will say that. Not unique as in it doesn't remind me of anything, because it reminds me of a few things. But unique in that this particular combination of of flavors is a uh, is unique to me to me in my palate particularly now the specific the specific flavors uh many things come to mind um it may be a uh, a placebo effect from the lavender purplish color of the can and I'm not of the liquid itself the liquid is kind of a, a caramel cola flavor from what I can tell I haven't poured it into a glass but what I can say I believe it is a a more caramel color that you know that they use in something like a cola um, but I, I believe the uh, the cans color is giving a placebo effect that's putting grape notes into my into my head perhaps if I had this just in a in a glass I would pick up on other things but another thing of note is that it vaguely reminds me well maybe not vaguely but it it, it, it reminds me in a in a substantial sense of this one uh, ch Japanese cherry tea that I had um, we, we got it at a uh, at a German market believe it or not um, why the German and Japanese were working together, I I couldn't tell you. I'm not sure if there's any sort of historical precedent for that. In any case, um, it is it is a very herbal uh, flavor. I will say, um, it, it's it's not as sweet as many sodas. If you're if you're coming expecting something like a like a like a orange soda, like a Fanta. Or anything like that, you will you'll be sorely disappointed. But if you if you come and expecting, um, you know, a, a more subtle flavor, I'm sure you'll be uh, delighted. Um, I mean, I don't think it, you you go and buying dandelion and bardock uh, flavored uh, soft drinks. I'm not sure if it even brands itself as as a soda. Um, let me look real quick. I didn't think to, didn't think to check. Yeah, it calls itself a carbonated soft drink. Well, soft drink, not soda, whatever. They really interchangeable synonyms, rather. Um, but as I was saying, forgive me for being sidetracked. It's a very subtle flavor. Um, if you come in expecting something, you know, more akin to a carbonated iced tea uh maybe not the traditional uh black tea or whatever type of tea that iced tea normally is it's 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 it it's a unique flavor that just rings a bell of something more subtle and herbal like a tea um but overall if i had to give it a ranking see personally i'm going to have to give it um, 
This is a subjective ranking. Some people may enjoy it more or less than I did. But overall, I did find it enjoyable. Um, not overly so. Um, I came in expecting a more subtle flavor, so I wasn't let down by it. But it's not my first choice. I'd prefer my palate is suited to sweeter sodas. But uh, for a ranking, I will have to say... Maybe a 5.5 to a 6 out of 10 buster points. Um, because, again, it's just my taste. I'd prefer something more robust in flavor. Um, this, for what it is, I think it's an enjoyable, um, you know, more mellowed down uh, flavor. Um, it doesn't say how much sugar is in this. It has energy, which I guess it's, hmm, yeah, they, this is a product of the, uh, United Kingdom, so, uh, the measurements and such are not what I'm used to as an American, so that it doesn't have, like, the amount of sugar and daily percentages, um, listed, but I assume it's probably a much lower sugar content than a average soda so overall um yeah decent soda if it if it you know suits your taste but if not then perhaps stick to the ribena um this is buster is buster <laughs> i can't fucking do this anymore